Hello Stampin' Friends and welcome. This is Dee Osborne and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we will be making this beautiful daffodil card using the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. I am so excited to bring this to you. I just couldn't wait to get this and I just got it and I'm so excited I was just couldn't wait to play with it. So um, we are going to dive right in and, and uh, make this. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome and please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. Leave me a comment as well and I will make sure to comment back to everyone who comments to me. Everything that you need to make this card, including the sizes of the cut paper, will be listed in the description below. So let's get started. We will be using the Daffodil Daydream Bundle. So here is the Daffodil Daydream stamp set. It's got some dots. It's got a Happy Mother's Day. It's got Easter blessings. It has these two beautiful daffodils, a butterfly, and this element right here. We will be using the dies that goes with this. And the dies cut this die right here, cuts out this stamp. And this die cuts out this stamp. And there's also two butterfly dies that cut out the butterfly. But we are going to use today, we're going to use the, some of the other ones. Now when you look at this, you might think, wow, there's so many dies, I'll never know what to do with all of those. Well, I am going to show you. So you get two of these, and these are the leaves for the daffodil and you'll need to cut out four of those so they give you two so you only have to run it through twice which is kind of nice you get two of the detailed piece and you'll need uh, four of those as well they give you two of the flower um, dies and you'll just need two of those so one of each They'll get, they give you, it also has the detailed die and we'll be using that so you'll need one of each of those. We're going to make a, f a bud so you'll need that one and then there's a detailed piece that goes with the bud. All right. Um, so we're, those are the ones that we're going to use today. And we're going to cut, I've already cut them out, but we're go, we cut out, or I cut out, um, the four leaves. Okay, so you, and this is in Daffodil Delight. So I have four of those. I have two of the flowers in Daffodil Delight. And I have a bud in Daffodil Delight. Then I cut four of the detailed pieces in Mango Melody. I cut the detailed piece for the flower also in Mango Melody. And I cut the um, detailed piece for the bud in Mango Melody. So those are the pieces that we are going to cut out. And I'm going to show you how to layer them up and put them together to make these beautiful daffodils. Aren't they gorgeous? I just love it. Um, it's so fun to play with it. Um, we're also going to be using the paper that you can get for free with Celebration. Um, it's for every $50 of product that you buy from Stampin' Up! They let you um, order something free out of the celebration catalog. Um, so if you want, you can go to www.deebeststamping.stampinup.net and take a look at that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the paper that you can get for free. This is the piece that we're going to be using. So there's this piece. There's the beautiful green hearts this beautiful paper. Now, the thing that Stampin' Up! does on the back of all of the pa uh, packs of paper is they tell you what colors that they used so that you can coordinate your ink and ribbon. Isn't that wonderful? It takes out all the guesswork and, and your cardstock. You can um, coordinate everything. That's the beauty of Stampin' Up! besides the, the great quality that they of everything that they have. So I love this piece. 
I love the flirty flamingo that's in here. This showcases all of those colors. Isn't that beautiful? It's so bright and gorgeous. I love it. This is a great piece because this would make your card making so easy. You could just cut yourself a piece out and um, put a ribbon on it and a sentiment and you are done. <laughs> That's a nice piece of paper right there. I love the flirty flamingo. Love these colors. Oh, so pretty. Pale papaya with the polka dots. Gorgeous. Um, I love this piece. I love the flirty flamingo. It This piece reminds me of that magnolia paper that we had that was so beautiful. This is a great piece that can be used for pretty much anything. What a great background paper that is. And then this is the uh, other side of the one that, uh, oh no, the other side of that. This is the other side of the one that we're going to use today. Okay. So there's that paper. Beautiful paper. Such quality. Absolutely gorgeous paper. I love it. So we are using this piece today um, for our card top. Okay. So our card base is Daffodil Delight and it is cut at eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and we're going to go going to take our bone folder i'm going to push this stuff out of the way but we're going to take our bone folder and make a nice crisp fold on that okay let's move all of our dies out of the way oh i forgot to show you some of the dies i forgot the to show you the stalks okay so we have to have stalks for our flowers right so here's the stalks they have um you know, like a bud on the end of some of them. So I've cut uh, two stalks in pear pizzazz, okay? And then I've cut three leaves. I cut one in pear pizzazz, one in, and two in evening evergreen. And they, um, they can, they go t both ways, right? So depending on which way your flower is going, you can make it go that way as well. And here's another pear pizzazz. All right, so let's move these dies and things out of the way so that we can start putting our card together. Okay, so we have our card base. Now we're going to cut this piece of designer series paper and we're going to cut it at five and a quarter. I have to cut it still. It's too long right now, but I'm going to cut it at five and a quarter by four. So I'm going to go do that. All right. So here's our piece of designer series paper that we're going to put on our Daffodil Delight card base. All right. But before we put that on there, we're going to take some of this, um, Daffodil Delight Runched Ribbon. It is on the clearance rack right now, so it's a great deal if you don't have any. Um, it won't last long, so if you want some, now's a good time to get it. Um, so I'm going to take just a little bit of that, and I'm going to put some glue dots on the back of my ribbon. Okay, and I'm going to put this ribbon about on the bottom third of this card, of this card front. I'm going to wrap that around the back and adhere it down. Okay, then I'm going to glue this card front to my card base. So let's do that and get my multi-purpose glue out and glue this to, come on, <laughs> here we go glue this card front to the card base. Okay. And we're going to get it right in the center where we want it. Um, get it just perfect. Okay. All right. Now, I also used the stitched rectangle dies. So I used the, I believe this is the 
third one in and the fourth one in, I believe it is. So I've cut those out and I cut it out and I cut a Daffodil Delight and a Basic White. All right, and I'm going to adhere both of those together. All right, but I'm not going to put this on my card yet because when I'm done putting my um, flowers on here, I'm going to pop it up with dimensionals, okay? Um, so let's put our flowers together. Let me show you how to do that. It's so fun. So we have the, the leaves, the yellow leaves, the flower leaves, not like the green leaves, but you know how a daffodil has those kind of loose um, leaves at the bottom? Well, that's what this is. So I'm going to take... Uh, some glue and I'm going to take the Mango Melody and I'm going to put just a dot of glue, not much, doesn't need much, um, and I'm going to put adhere that to my flower. Now you see how it has this bend? That's how you know which uh, one to put it on. See how it has this like, put them together and let that dry. And we'll do the others. So easy to figure out where it goes because the bend in that uh, leaf that just goes right, it just tells you exactly where, where to match that up. Okay, so we're matching that up just like that. Okay, I'm going to put the last one on here. And I'm going to find that bend and find the bend here and I'm going to put them together. So easy! Isn't that easy? It just fits perfectly and you just make them flush and glue it down. Then we're going to put, and I had already done that one, so we'll take our um, flower and the matching detailed piece and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue right there and you just match those up and put them together. Easy peasy. Okay, we'll do this one as well. Put that on there. Okay, just match that up. And the same for the flower bud. You just put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And just put it on to the flower bud and it just matches up perfectly. Okay, and it's okay if you get a little bit of glue on there. Okay, so we have everything glued together now, uh, all the flower pieces glued together. So we're gonna put the stalks on. And um, we have used the stitched rectangles to cut out a piece of Daffodil Delight and a piece of Basic White. And that is going to go on top of our card like this. Uh, but we're not going to put it on yet, remember, because we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on that. But we do want to think about where we want these flowers to go on here. So we want this one to tilt this way. Alright, so we're going to put a little bit of glue. <laughs> that guy wants to stick to me. We're going to put a little bit of glue. Um, let's see. How about Let's put the glue on here. Here. Actually, I'm going to put it on the back of here. Just a little bit. We'll lay him head down. Then we're going to um, have one that goes this way. Now, before we can do that, we have to glue. Oh, we have to glue our flowers together. So we're going to put this. That's the easy part. A little bit of glue in the middle. You have the pedal that goes up so you want a pedal that goes down and you just glue them together okay just stick them together it's okay if the glue gushes out a little bit it's not gonna matter at all in fact it's not a bad thing that it does so we have one that goes up and one that comes down glue that together okay then we're gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of the, 
this flower and we want one of them to tilt to the right and we want one of them to tilt to the left. So we'll, whoops. <laughs> so we'll put that one like that, okay? Now, the one that tilts to the right, we're going to put the right tilting stock. So we put a little bit of glue there. We're going to um, attach that just like that to the back, okay? so that we have that stock on there. We want it to, to kind of tilt. We want, let's turn this. So let's put the stock going like that and we'll make the flower tilt a little more. I like that, okay? And then for this one, I'm going to use this leaf that goes this way, so it tilts to the left. And I'm going to put some glue on it. Ooh, that's a lot of glue, but that's okay. And we're just going to put it on there like that. Let's see if we want it to go. Um, maybe we'll tilt it all the way. Maybe we'll do it like that. That looks good. All right. So we turn it over and I'm going to get some glue dots now while that's drying. We'll turn this one over too. And I'm going to get my glue dots. And I'm going to put, if I can find a, oh, here we go. All right, we're gonna put a glue dot on the back in the center on that one. And we'll put a glue dot on the back on the center of that one. And a glue dot on the back on the center of our, um, bud. So now we'll get out this piece and we're going to put the bud right there. We want it up to the top tilting to the left a little bit. Then we'll take the one that tilts to the right and we'll put it right here. We'll have our stalks lined up and we'll have that little bud going out. Okay. Then we'll take the one that goes to the left and we'll put it right here, just like that. Kind of closing up that space there. It's not, the glue's not quite dry so I can move that stalk a little bit and I can move this flower just a little bit so that it's not quite tilted so much. Perfect, there we go. Now, we're going to put some glue on the back of our evening evergreen leaf. And one of them, the one that goes to the left, is gonna go here. And we're gonna slide it underneath and pull it up just a bit. Glue that down. Well, the one that goes to the right, we'll put some glue on the back of it. And we'll slide it under this flower. Make sure we get this leaf too. <laughs> if I can pick it up, there we go. Slide it underneath there. We'll put that, that leaf just like that. Kind of get some of that extra glue off of there. Um, and then we, will, we have one more leaf, one more green. Um, leaf and I want it to go that way so I'm going to put the glue on this side and I just want it to be like right there. All right so now that we have that done we're going to snip these off because we don't need all that hanging off the edge. All right so we're just gonna snip, snip, snip. There we go. All right now it's really coming together. Okay, so now we'll bring back in our card base, right? And get rid of that, come on. <laughs> we'll turn this guy over and we'll put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back. One on each corner and one in the middle so that it's supported nicely in all the important areas. We'll take the 
backs off of this. Okay, now we will put this down right here. And we will add our bow that we made. So we have our bow and I'm going to put two glue dots on the back. I like to just to make it strong so that the bow doesn't fall off. I'm going to put the bow right there and then I'm going to trim. Let's see, I'll pull that down a little bit. There we go. We'll trim this tail and we'll trim this tail. Okay, maybe that one's a little too long. All right, now what we need to do is we we need to put our our sentiment on there. So we're going to use the happy birthday sentiment from the Celebrating You stamp set. And it is, which one is it? This one right here. This is a great stamp set. It has pretty much a sentiment for any occasion that you would want. You get this in the mini catalog right now. This is an excellent stamp set. It's a must have in my mind. Um, lots of love just for you. Happy anniversary, birthday, welcome little one, Mother's Day, thanks, Easter, so proud of you, wedding. I mean, it's got everything. So we're going to uh, get out our, our um, scraps of white. You know, when you trim up your white paper, um, you always have these little pieces of, you know, scraps left over. And so they are perfect for making your sentiment. I have to find one that's just a little bit wider. That one might be too wide. We can always trim it down. So I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to um, stamp this in Evening Evergreen. So I'm going to get my Evening Evergreen out. My Evening Evergreen. And we're going to open that up and we're going to stamp our sentiment. And I, whenever you cut your papers, you end up with all these little scraps. And they make great um, little scraps for your sentiments. And so this one is perfect for this one, I believe. This is going to be really tight, but we'll see. So um, I just keep them in a little bag. And then it makes, makes it easy when I go to stamp my sentiment. I just grab one out and there we go. You know, I think I boo-booed right there. So I'm going to stamp this again and try this again. I'm not going to press quite so hard. I'm just going to go down and up. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to cut it like that and then I'm going to cut it like that. Put my ink away. I'm going to put two dimensionals on my sentiment. And it's okay that I'm using the other side because I messed up on that side. So no one even needs to know that I messed that up. All right, so now I'm going to put this, huh, gotta put it right side up. Put this on my card right there. Isn't that lovely? Okay, now the, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these on there. Now these are old, um, I pulled them out of my stash. I thought, oh, they match perfectly. So I'm going to use these. I'm gonna put one little dot right here. Okay, and I'm gonna put another little dot. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put one on the sentiment right here. And then the last little dot I'm going to put up here somewhere. Here, here, here. How about right there? I like it right there. Okay, so I have those. And the last thing that we want to do is put glitter on our card. 
So we're going to get out our glitter and we're going to get out our 2A um, glue pen. And we don't need a ton of glitter, but I do think that um, just a little bit on, on the detail pieces will make this just beautiful. Okay, maybe a little bit on a couple of these stars. Okay, so I have that, the glue on there, and now I'm going to put my glitter on here. And I glittered up the stalks and the, you know, flowers, and then you just put it on there and tap it off, tap, tap, tap it off. Okay. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. That is so, so pretty. So, so pretty. So there you have it. This is the Daffodil Daydream Bundle using the dies and the paper. And I used the Happy Birthday Sentiment from the Celebrating You stamp set from the mini catalog. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you want to see a listing, a complete look at all the products that are currently available, you can go to www.debeststamping.stampinup.net and take a look there. Uh, it is celebration, so for every $50 you spend, Stampin' Up! lets you order something free out of the celebration catalog. And any orders of $40 or more will receive a bonus gift from me. So please leave me a comment and I will comment back to you. Let me know how you liked it. Um, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope that you give this a try. I'm sure yours will turn out beautifully as well. I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time.